Hey guys, what is up? Rattling Ghost here, <coughs> coming to you through the power of YouTube. And uh, this is the car that I'll be restoring today. This is a 1977 Hot Wheels. It is the 701 Hot Wheels that came out in 76. It's actually black color. The wheels are in very bad condition. And then someone went and painted over the windscreen as well. I think originally this windscreen was blue. But uh, I'll have to get the uh, paint and the marker stripes off it. So for the car, I'm just going to remove the existing paint and then polish it up a little bit. So as you can see there, this is the 77 Hot Wheels. It was made in Malaysia. Very nice model. And uh, this one I'll actually try and do in the metallic blue. It also came out in metallic blue with the 701 decals on the doors and the uh, rooftop itself so I'm just going to drill out the posts so after I've drilled out a little bit into the post itself it's got the two posts I'm just using a bigger drill bit and that is just to get rid of the mushroom that's still left on the base plate that keeps the car together so this car was actually marked down below with a black marker it's actually my wife's passed on brother's car he had it back in the day put his name on there with a black marker and i'll be restoring that for him so hopefully it turns out as good as what she came out of the factory <coughs> So guys, um, I'm going to get into it. You can actually see it's got a lot of grit and grime on the base plate on the inside as well. And that's with all the years of playing. Like I said, this is a 77 model. So it's about 40 years old, which is quite in still a good condition for its age. The interior is just black and it's also got a lot of dust and dirt inside and grit. That I'll just basically clean out with a toothbrush and I'll use some soapy water as well to get rid of all that grime inside the uh, interior. So as for the windscreen, you can actually see that as well. It's very dirty, it's very grimy. You can't actually make out a color. Um, it looks like, I know it came out originally in a blue color, but this has almost got like a... A grayish discoloration to it <clears throat> and then someone went over with some golden color and then like I said the black marker as well that I'll have to remove so there's actually a lot of work on this car but uh, I think when she's finished she's gonna turn out looking quite good so the original color on the inside was actually the black color like I said I'm not gonna be doing this one in black I'm gonna be doing it in a metallic blue and uh, I think it's going to look quite nice. So as you can see there, if you can see, it is the number 20019. And that was just a model number when it came out, out of the Hot Wheels factory. And as it is 2019, I think it's fitting that we do this model and that we restore it to its former glory. So here I am just using a old toothbrush that's lying around. It's not my wife's or my kid's. But uh, I'm just cleaning it with some dishwashing liquid, some soapy water. On the inside of the seats itself, there was a lot of grit and dirt that was still sitting in there. I had to use some toothpicks and some dental picks to get that out and then cleaned it out nicely. But it, it turned out looking quite good. So for the window, I'm just using soapy water as well just to get rid of all the dust and dirt that's inside that carried it over the last 40 years. And then uh, I'll have to remove the black marker and I'll have to remove the paint from the windscreen just using some thinners or some turpentine. But as you can see, it's actually got like a yellowish glow to it. And I don't know if that's discoloration through the sun. I don't know where this model was standing all these years. But uh, yeah, she is finished. And as you can actually see now, this is the back window. The front window has got two cracks in it, but it's got like a discoloration of yellow. And that's why I say I know this also came out in the blue, which the blue window. And I think that's just the sun that burnt it over the last 40 years. 
and that's why it turned this yellowish color so for this one I don't know if I'm gonna use this they actually painted over the window itself and that was to hide the cracks at the front of the window so you can see there's two cracks and that's basically cracked right through so there's no way in repairing this I actually tried to cast a new window for this but it didn't turn out as good as what I thought and I think that's why other guys also don't cast their own windows it doesn't turn out the way that uh, we would like to have it so I'm just going to use a it's an old DVD cover basically where all DVDs comes in I'm going to cut the plastic off that and this is what I'm left with so for this I'm just going to basically try and mold it into position inside the model car itself drop it in some boiling water and then I'm going to try and bend it to where it takes on the shape of the interior and of the window that we've actually removed now so after a couple of dunks into the boiling water I'm just going to try and push it and just try and bend it so that it takes the natural shape of the inside of the car So this process actually took me quite a while um, it took me about three kettles of boiling water later a lot of pushing a lot of bending just to get the natural shape a lot of cutting some sometimes but this process all in all just to get the window like I wanted it took me probably about three and a half hours but eventually I got the shape that I wanted you can actually see the bend there and that was just on the first bend so it takes a couple of minutes but eventually you'll be left with this so I've got the natural shape and that's the shape of the old window as well I actually measured it against the old window and when I place it into position on the car it actually looks pretty nice so I'm giving this a clear window so we can see inside the car I don't normally like the tinted windows that they did on these old Hot Wheels car and the new ones I think the clear ones are just more true to life and uh, that's what they all came out with you might get some of them that's got a black tint to it but overall we don't get blue windows anyway <coughs> so there's some creases with the bending process and it actually turned white so I actually redone a window and the second one that I did turned out actually much much better so now I'm gonna get into stripping the paint off the body of the car and after the stripping it actually turned out looking quite nice I did try and sand it down I used a thousand grit sandpaper and I also used 2000 grit sandpaper and then I polished it up with my turtle wax polish to get this nice shine that is currently on the screen so I actually sanded it down but the details on it are so fine that they actually started disappearing like the door lines on the side and uh, I just stopped with the sanding down and just left it as is I'm just scared that uh, you remove all the lines and then it's going to look horrible in the end when you paint it so guys just with a little bit of polish the zinc plating that was on the car is actually quite in, in quite good condition so I'm quite happy with how she turned out now on this one I'm not going to prime it I'm just going to spray basically over it like she's sitting over here and then I just need to make a new light for the siren at the top of the roof like siren light the blue light and that I basically just use one of my old scale model kits that I had basically the parts where it came in or where it's in its grid I just used the sides of it which is also around it and then I left it in the or I just pushed it in and I cut it down to size so there is a little bit of scratches on it I eventually fold it up with a bit of poly cement and uh, I did scrape it down a bit and then I think the final result after I painted it came out looking quite amazing so 
So for the color, I've actually chosen chosen the Tamiya color. It actually says there on the bottle it's for plastics, but I must admit, after I spray painted it with this fine Tamiya color, it actually turned out a beaut, and it's exactly the color that I was looking for. So I will be not priming this. I'll just be spraying it as is with a zinc plating on there, and I think it gave a very nice effect after I sprayed it down with this color. So guys, for the base plate as well, I just sanded it down. I used a tool that I got for my Dremel. It is like a fine bristle kind of brush that you can buy basically anywhere. And uh, I must admit a couple of uh, circulations on the base plate and uh, she turned out looking almost brand new. There's no damage because it's not a hard bristle brush and uh, you can actually see the details came out looking quite nice. I'm just going to leave it as is and then for the grill at the front and the back I just use a small little brush. I dropped some um, of my polishing, my turtle wax polish on the grill at the front as well and I just stuck my fine bristle brush in there and I got it cleaned up as per what she's sitting here. But I think it absolutely looks good and I'm quite happy about how she turned out. So on this, on the inside, I've actually removed the axles of the old wheels that was on it. The axles were rusted and bent way out of proportion and I actually couldn't use them anymore. So I've just ended up cutting them off. And what I'll be using is some thin needles and that will be the uh, end result that I'm looking for. So for the wheels, they actually uh, use the marker as well and there's some gold color inside as well so I had to clean that up. I actually ended up spraying the whole wheel in a flat black color and then with a satin black and then I actually had to paint the rims in with a silver that I had. I didn't get the chrome color as per what I'm showing you on the PJ 505. Now this one came out in the black wall mainline um, tires back then and you can actually see it's got a nice chrome rim inside but for this one it just turned out silver because uh, you don't actually I don't have a chrome pin and I can order one but it's going to take a century to get to South Africa to me. So with this that I've clipped off I'm actually like I said earlier, I'm going to attempt to use some needles. Stole some of my needles, or my wife's needles, out of the cupboard. And then I've cut the ends off it. Stick it through the uh, wheel itself. And then uh, I'll just basically then super glue it into position using some glue devil super glue and some baking soda to keep it in position. So this is after I've painted my tires. This is the needles that I've been, been or will be using. And uh, it actually is quite a nice fit. I just clipped the ends off, stuck it through the middle of the wheel itself. You can actually see I've painted it and that was one of the steps that I skipped to record for you guys. And then I'm just going to have it in place in the middle and then super glue and bake soda to get it fastened to where it needs to sit and roll on the car. It's actually an easy way to do it. Um, I know there's some other guys that actually do their own axles and flatten the ends as well but for these ones I actually thought this might be an easier way to go and it actually worked out quite brilliant. Now I know if you can order from the Redline shop, like I said again I'm in South Africa so for myself to order from the Redline shop it's going to take a year and a half or more to get to me. So this was the initial or this was the original decals that was on the side of the vehicle. I opened my AutoCAD 2014. I pulled up two pictures, basically the top and then the side as well. And then I started going over the lines with the AutoCAD tool, drawing the lines out, getting the sheriff, 
the six pointed star the 701 and made myself a nice little tablet because i'll be printing this out later on some sticking paper and then i'll be attaching them to the finished car so i actually can't get hold of transfer decal paper here in SA. I don't know where to go and look for it. Maybe you guys can leave a link down in the description so that I can find out if there is any place here in SA that I can get a hold of it. But I think for now what I did here and what I attempted to do, it actually turned out looking quite nice. So that will be the end product and that's how it's going to look. I actually did everything in white and I did it in the blue color, not the black because I want to make this a metallic blue. I've got a function on my phone as well that's called color grab actually works like a charm it gives you the hue the saturation and the luminance of the color itself and then with that i can go into autocad and i can go and set my luminance my hue and my saturation to that certain color that i get the exact color so yeah i printed out my decals for the side doors and the rooftop itself came out looking quite nice like i say this is just some normal sticking paper for the first sample i actually used a, a bright yellow color but you can actually see there for the roof de decal it didn't turn out looking quite nice so then i with the lower ones i actually used like a yellow orangey color almost like a tan color and i think it actually turned out looking much much better than the first one with a bright yellow color so these ones i'll just basically cut out with some scissors i'm going to stick them onto the side of the doors and then on top of the roof and uh, then i'll clear coat over it and hopefully it turns out looking as good as what i think is going to turn out So guys, onwards to the assembly. So I've clipped out my decals. I've pasted it on the side. You can actually see on one of the sides there, it's got one decal on there. That is just my new needles in place, so my new axle, and I just uh, used some baking soda and super glue to basically just keep it in position. It actually works like a charm. And uh, I must admit, I'm quite happy with the result and uh, the wheels roll as what it came out of the factory back in 1976 <coughs> so for the interior nothing else was done and now we're going to assemble the car i've already installed the window as well the window was pre-installed because i needed to basically stick it into position with some super glue as well otherwise it kept falling out because it's not the same window that came with the car but uh, the results on the end of the day is actually quite nice i'm quite happy how she turned out i actually said on my previous video with the mgb gt that was one of my better and best restorations that i've ever done but i must admit for being a smaller car and being a better car this one actually turned out much much better and this is my best work ever so guys please if you like this video if you want to see more of this then hit that subscribe button like my channel leave a nice comment and guys please share it so guys onward to the assembly so with my window already stuck in place there you can actually see i'm trying to push down on the front side there i'm just installing my interior and then i'm adding my base plate to it and then i'm just going to be using some smallish screws it's the i think it's 1.8 millimeter screws that i'll be using i can't find the button head screws again here in SA. i think i need to order some of them it actually makes the car looks much much better but uh, for these ones i think the screws that i'm using currently is quite adequate to do the job that it's entitled to do so i'm quite happy with that And now for the back one. Just to make sure that everything fits snug and that everything is in position. So guys, onward to the reveal. And like I say, I love this. I love the model. 
she turned out a beaut i've got the exact color as what i wanted the decals with the clear lacquer that i sprayed on afterwards came out looking brilliant and i'm quite enjoying this part of the restorations so you can actually see it's got like a nice shine to it and that's achieved with the clear lacquer afterwards and like i say this is not transfer decal paper it's just normal sticking paper but i am thrilled at how this model turned out and she's got a new lease on life and i think someone somewhere is going to play with it for a long time thank you very much for